Hello Umut here, welcome to another video. Uh, today I'm going to work on my art journal. Uh, this is uh, from Sakura. Uh, I am not too happy with it. Uh, I always say uh, the pages are very thin. Uh, normally I use my Moleskine uh, sketchbook which is my preferred uh, art journal. And I'm going to link it down below for you to see. Today I'm going to try a new technique that I saw from Tim Holtz. Uh, I didn't try it before but uh, it looks very beautiful. Uh, so I'm going to use these three distress inks. Wild Honey, Barn Door uh, and uh, Pine Needles. Uh, and I'm going to use this stencil uh, which is called Scribbles I think from uh, Tim Holtz uh, to create my background. Uh, I'm using these three colors uh, in uh, rotation uh, with my blending tool uh, and I'm just using my stencil uh, to create this beautiful design. Um, I'm not sure why I'm making my life so difficult changing the sponges when I have uh, four of these blending tools but uh, I will get them out and uh, put the sponges on separate ones. Uh, right after I uh, use these colors uh, over my stencil I'm using micro glaze to actually seal these colors. Uh, you can use micro glaze or cold wax uh, to seal your colors. Uh, I'm not moving the stencil uh, before um, I use this uh, micro glaze because I want to seal right exactly where I use the stencil. So I uh, uh, seal this design completely. Like I did with my uh, inks, uh, I just used another sponge uh, to use the micro glaze uh, and I dipped a little bit uh, of it into the glaze and I just uh, made sure that it's rubbed uh, on the sponge very well and I use this just over the stencil like I use the uh, inks uh, completely the same way. I'm going to cover uh, nearly two thirds of my uh, pages with this uh, same design alternating these three colors and they will to me they look like roses uh, so I, I wanted to create a background of uh, flowers um, and you will see why later. And these three colors uh, contrast with each, with each other very nicely. So it's quite a striking look already. Uh, I'm repeating the same thing, just uh, uh, alternating these three colors. And then I'm using my sponge uh, with uh, this blending tool uh, to go over it without lifting my uh, stencil with micro glaze. I'm guessing you should be able to use Vaseline too if you have it. Uh, just try. I'm, I didn't use it myself but it's another idea. Some people uh, just uh, fix their inks with uh, Vaseline. Um, I sprayed a little bit water uh, on my page, on, on my pages. Uh, nothing will happen to my colors since they are sealed. And I'm using black spray. Uh, this is from Dilusions. You can use any dye uh, spray that is black. And I left some of my pages uh, empty for this black to cover completely. So my objective is actually uh, because I sealed uh, uh, all these colors, uh, the black uh, spray will go only in the middle, on the, in the places that it's not uh, sealed. So the rest of the stencil and the rest of my page in black. And I'm going to use this uh, beautiful sticker from my Antiquarian sticker book. I showed uh, a flip of this uh, book in one of my videos that I'm going to link down below. So you can check it out. It has like 1000 stickers which are super cool to use as um, focal points. And this came out as a bear. Uh, and uh, I love it. So my idea was always to use this bear uh, over black and match the colors that it has inside uh, with the other part of the page. I used a bit of uh, archival ink where I thought the black was not enough. And uh, in the rest of the page uh, there are also two butterflies uh, hidden. I love the concept of it. They covered all the page with these flowers but there are hidden shapes in it and there are many of these pages in the book. I decided to put these butterflies on the other side uh, of the uh, page 
and uh, I'm going to choose uh, a sentiment from this uh, small talk sticker set of Tim Holtz. Uh, my sentiment is always be on the lookout for the presence of wonder uh, and I'm going to cut it in half and use it uh, with as uh, two lines. Uh, sorry, my hands are still full of black dye, uh, but uh, uh, the spray makes this. Um, if you are also complaining about this, uh, you can use Ranger Craft Soap. Uh, it's like a scrubby uh, soap. It takes off all the ink from your hands. Uh, I would strongly recommend it. I'm going to also leave a link down below for that. To make my bear more prominent and stand out from the page, I'm just going around the uh, borders, edges, with my white gel pen, uh, Uniball Signo, uh, broad tip. Uh, it's uh, As you see, it makes it much more visible. I really love this technique. It's uh, such an easy thing to apply and it's uh, very striking. Uh, and if you don't use this uh, sealing method, it's very hard to do. Uh, the black that goes inside the parts that uh, was uh, blocked by the stencil so that black and uh, green, yellow and red we used created uh, an amazing contrast for sure I will be using this method that I learned uh, many many times uh, Tim Holtz himself uh, makes a lot of videos over his blog so be sure to check out if you want to learn different techniques with his uh, own products uh, I went uh, around the uh, butterflies as well uh, with my white gel pen you will see it in the pictures I did it later and of course I'm going to do some splashes with white uh, on the black uh, side of the page only and I am done as you see it's a super quick and easy method but uh, it looks like uh, you made a lot of effort contrast of colors are amazing uh, and I absolutely love it I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to subscribe like or comment uh, also don't forget to follow me over Instagram to see my new projects thank you so much for watching and see you next time